fitness guru Richard Simmons, known for his unstoppable positivity, passed away on July 13th, 2024, following his 76th birthday, which was just a day before. Simmons had largely disappeared from the public since 2014, but was still very active on social media and communicating with fans. For nearly a decade, Richard spent most of his time inside his massive mansion in Los Angeles. The multi-level home offered a huge circular pool, balconies, and greenery around the property for plenty of privacy. Richard Simmons was found at his West Hollywood home over the weekend after a 911 call was made from his housekeeper. The LAPD found the fitness star deceased, but it appears that Simmons died of natural causes and no foul play is suspected. Simmons had been living a private life in recent years, despite reports earlier this year about a biopic being made about him. He addressed these reports stating, don't believe everything you read. I no longer have a manager and I no longer have a publicist. I just try to live a quiet life and be peaceful. Known for his social media presence, Simmons often posted several times a day. A day before his passing, he celebrated his 76th birthday on Facebook, writing, thank you, I never got so many messages about my birthday in my life. I'm sitting here writing emails. Have a most beautiful rest of your Friday. In March, Simmons had informed his fans about having a skin cancer removed from his face, but reassured them that he was doing just fine. On Friday, Simmons also shared his fun plans to celebrate his birthday in a rare interview. He said, but the candle will probably be on a zucchini. You know I'm a vegetarian. Reflecting on turning 76, he added, I feel good. I am grateful that I'm here, that I'm alive for another day. I'll spend my birthday doing what I do every day, which is to help people. Milton Teagle Simmons, known as Richard Simmons, was born in New Orleans on July 12th, 1948, and adopted the name Richard during his childhood. He grew up in the French Quarter of New Orleans before settling in California, and weighed 268 pounds when he graduated from high school. Simmons often spoke about his struggles with being overweight as a child, which motivated him to embark on a weight loss journey and eventually pursue a career in fitness during the 1970s and 80s. His initial step into the world of weight loss was the opening of his gym, Slimmons, in Beverly Hills, California. In 1980, he published his first book, Never Say Diet, which was the beginning of a series of 12 books that he would release throughout his career. During the 1980s, Simmons' fitness videos became wildly popular, coinciding with the nationwide fitness craze that saw a surge in aerobics and jazzercise. His Sweat into the Oldie series became some of the most iconic fitness videos of the era. I mean, I even remember exercising to his video in gym class as a kid, which was like over a decade later. Simmons was a regular on TV, appearing on various talk shows such as Late Show with David Letterman and The Rosie O'Donnell Show. He also had a recurring role on the soap opera General Hospital and made guest appearances as himself on shows like Arrested Development and The Larry Sanders Show. From 1980 to 1984, he hosted his own talk and fitness show too, The Richard Simmons Show, which won four daytime Emmys. However, after winning a legion of fans with his infectious enthusiasm and positivity, Simmons stepped away from the limelight in 2014. In March, Simmons revealed in an emotional Facebook post he'd been diagnosed with skin cancer after discovering a strange looking bump under his right eye. He abruptly stopped making public appearances in 2014, leading many of his fans to voice concerns about his well-being over the following years. The place where Richard Simmons spent the most time just himself and his housekeeper Teresa was his sprawling mansion in West Hollywood. The grand, white, colonial structure is surrounded by plenty of trees and greenery, giving Simmons the ideal place for his private lifestyle. The multi-level home was built in 1937 and sits on a lot over half an acre. It's assumed to be worth over $5.2 million today. According to listing materials, Richard's home boasts over 4,100 square feet of space inside, four bedrooms and five baths. There's also a large two-car garage, two or more balconies overlooking the property, and a massive black bottom swimming pool out on the grounds. While the home is grand, it's also not as over the top as one might expect of the eccentric Simmons. Another unique feature of his home is its mailbox, something that does maintain a touch of Richard's one-of-a-kind flair. 
As you can see, the mailbox is a mini replica of Simmons' own mansion. Despite the fact that Simmons hasn't been seen much in recent years, TMZ founder Harvey Levin reported he does leave his house occasionally. He said, We found out he likes going to the beach, he'll go shopping, but there has not been a single paparazzi that has gotten anything of Richard Simmons out in public in more than eight years. Simmons was last spotted outside his California home in 2017 after being hospitalized for indigestion. Although he didn't show his face, he was seen wrapped in a blanket, wearing clean white New Balance shoes, blue socks, and sweats. This was believed to be his first appearance in about three years since he began living his reclusive lifestyle. The documentary What Really Happened to Richard Simmons claimed that the fitness star chose to live a secluded life due to a painful condition he struggled with since birth, which largely impacted one of his legs. It's claimed that Simmons' decision to retreat from public life was also about preserving his brand. He wanted to be remembered as vibrant and healthy. However, the documentary also suggests that Simmons likely enjoyed his quiet life away from the spotlight, noting that he has always been quote unquote withdrawn and a loner. In 2016, the LAPD conducted a welfare check at Simmons Hollywood Hills home amid concerns that his longtime housekeeper, Teresa, was holding him against his will. Well, the police found Simmons to be articulate, relaxed, and lucid, appearing happy with his life inside with only his housekeeper for company. The only impairment noticed by the officers during their visit was a slight limp in his knee. In a phone interview, Simmons clarified, no one is holding me hostage, I do what I want to do, as I've always done. People should always believe what I have to say, because I'm Richard Simmons. Whatever the case may be, we can hope that Richard Simmons left this world in peace and in the comfort of his gorgeous LA mansion. As we say goodbye to Richard Simmons, we celebrate the life of a man who brought light and laughter to so many. He inspired millions with his boundless energy and infectious positivity. His Hollywood Hills home, a reflection of his private yet vibrant life, stands as a memory of his later years. And no matter the reason why, Simmons found the solitude he cherished here, away from the Hollywood spotlight. That'll bring today's video to an end, but rest in peace, Richard Simmons. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye!